okay, so AI. AI. It's everywhere, right? Yeah. Like it's the buzzword of like the century, basically. Um, but are chatbots actually useful for your business? I mean, that's what we want to know. Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? Yeah. Some people are saying that it's basically like having a bunch of superheroes working for you, like 24-7. Right. Um, but how do you figure out what's actually useful and what's hype? Right. Because there is a lot of hype. And that is what we're here to figure out today yeah. in this deep dive exactly. on Parsimony Chat. Okay. They claim to be the AI chatbot solution for any business. So we've gone through all their marketing material, their internal documents, their user guide, all of it. All of it. So that you don't have to. We did the hard work for you. And they are not Least throws. shy with the information, let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, they make some pretty bold claims. Yeah, they do. I mean, customers, 513% more likely to buy. The big number. Yeah. I mean, who, who wouldn't want that? Right. right. They even say that chatbots are now the number one preferred support channel. Oh, wow. Interesting. So data aside for a second, what does Parsimony Chat actually do? Like what problem are they solving? Well, it seems like they're really focusing on three main things. Okay. Uh, first up, you've got instant support and automation. Right. So, you know, answering those frequently asked questions, being available 24-7, all that good stuff. Right. And the idea there is to free up your human agents for the more complex issues. Which is huge for businesses, right? Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've like... Oh, no left mid-purchase yeah. because I'm like, I just need an answer to this one question. Exactly. And I'm out of here. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's number one. What's number two? All right. So number two is lead generation and qualification. Okay. So basically, Parsimony Chat is saying that they can be your website's best salesperson. Okay. Engaging visitors, figuring out what they need, and even identifying those hot leads that are ready to buy now. <laughs> okay, so I can see how that would lead to, <laughs> no pun intended, yeah. more sales. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, but how does it actually work? Okay. Because I'm like looking at the back end of this, and I'm seeing things like knowledge base right. and uh, base system prompt. Yeah. And I got to be honest, like I'm already. It's a little intimidating. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. But it's really not as complicated as it sounds. Think of it like building your own, like, super smart robot assistant. Okay. 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 So the knowledge base, that's like its brain. Okay. You're going to feed it all the information about your business, website content, product details, FAQs, mm. anything that you think the AI needs to know to answer questions. So more information, the better. Just dump everything in. Not necessarily. That's, that's a really key point. Mm -hmm. More isn't always better. Okay. It's about giving the AI the right information to do its job. Okay. So imagine you're a clothing retailer. If you just take your entire inventory database and dump it into the knowledge base, it's going to be a mess. Right. The chatbot won't know what to do with all that. So it's about quality over quantity. Exactly. It's about giving it the good stuff. Yeah. So thinking about those clothing store questions, mm -hmm. what are people asking? What are the return policies? Do you offer gift wrapping, different sizes available, all that kind of information, clear, concise, and customer facing. So it's like training a new employee, but instead of coffee runs, it's data entry. Exactly. Okay, got it. So that's knowledge base. What about this base system prompt? What is that? Okay, so this is a little technical, but it's important. Okay. This is where you get to define your chatbot's personality. Okay. So you're going to decide on the tone of voice, how formal or informal it should be, um, even what topics it should avoid. You don't want it like going off on tangent. Right, right. You want it to sound like your company. Exactly. And this is something that Parsimony Chat really emphasizes in their documentation. They really want to make sure that your chatbot aligns with your brand voice, the customer experience that you're going for. Okay. Okay. Right. So we've got the brain, we've got the personality. But how does this actually integrate? Like, how does it work with my business, with my calendar, with my CRM. Ah, you're talking about the muscles, the integrations. And this is where things start to get really interesting. Integrations and the muscles that make this whole thing actually work. They seem to be going all in on the connectivity. Okay. Talking about seamless integrations with your calendar, CRM, social media, even Zapier for the real automation wizards out there. Come on, CRM. Good point. Not everyone listening is going to know what that stands for. That's true. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. Basically software that helps you keep track of all your interactions with your customers. Okay. So think about how powerful it could be to have your chatbot feeding information directly into your CRM. Right. 
every interaction, every question, every lead captured and organized automatically. That'd be huge for a lot of businesses. Huge. No more manual data entry, no more lost leads slipping through the cracks. Right. Like I can see this being a game changer. Exactly. And that's where the integrations become really powerful. Imagine this. A potential customer lands on your website, starts chatting with the site. The mentions that they're interested in a particular product. Okay. The chatbot, using its knowledge base, can answer their questions and even recommend related items. Okay. Now, here's where it gets really good. Let's say the customer seems ready to buy, but they have a couple more questions. The chatbot can seamlessly schedule a call with a human salesperson directly through the chatbot interface. Okay. No more back and forth emails, no more playing phone tag. Right. It's all done right there. Wow, I can feel my schedule clearing up just thinking about it. <laughs> but let's be honest, building one of these AI chatbots, it still feels a little intimidating. What if it starts saying weird stuff or mm. I can't figure out why it's not working the way I want it to? Well, you're in luck because Parsimony Chat seems to have thought of that too. Oh, yeah. They have this really cool feature called debug mode. Debug mode? Yeah. What is that? It basically lets you peek behind the curtain and see what the AI is thinking. You can see what the AI is thinking? Well, kind of. You can see the data that it's accessing, the logic that it's using. Okay. And that can be really helpful for troubleshooting. Like if the chatbot keeps giving a weird answer, mm -hmm. you can use debug mode to see where it's going wrong. Yeah. And then you can tweak the knowledge base or the base system prompt accordingly. So it's like having a direct line to the AI's brain. Exactly. Very cool. And speaking of getting technical, I noticed they make a big deal about API access. Yeah. I'll be honest, that went a little over my head. Is that something our listeners need to worry about? That's a great question. And honestly, it depends. Okay. For most businesses, just using Parsimony Chat's built-in tools and integrations will be more than enough. Right. But for the tech-savvy folks out there, API access opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Like what? Well, for example, let's say you're running a big e-commerce site and you want to integrate the chatbot with your inventory management system in a very specific way. Okay. With API access, your developers can build a custom integration that does exactly what you need. So it's like you can get as in the weeds as you need to. Exactly. It's there if you need it. Okay. I like it. Um, but I do have one more question about all of this. Because amidst all this talk about efficiency and automation, mm. I can't help but wonder, what about the human element? Right. Where does that fit in? I'm glad you brought that up because in their materials, Parsimony Chat clearly states that AI will enhance not replace. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. But is that just marketing speak or do they actually believe that? It's hard to say for sure, but I think there's a bigger point here that's worth exploring. So AI enhance, not replace. Mm. What's the bigger point? Well, think about it this way. Every business owner, every entrepreneur, you're all trying to solve problems for your customers, right? Right. And sometimes AI can be an amazing tool for that. Okay. It can handle those repetitive tasks. It can help you personalize the customer experience, even anticipate needs that you didn't even know you had. Okay. So okay. it's not about AI taking over. It's about using AI to do what it does best so that we can focus on what we do best. Scaling. Things like strategy, creativity, building relationships, those human elements that are still absolutely critical for success, no matter how advanced technology gets. It's like work smarter, not harder, but in this case, it's work smarter with smarter technology. Right. Um, I think that's a good place to kind of wrap things up. Yeah. Because AI is a tool, mm -hmm. and it's up to us how we use it. It is. So for anyone listening out there who's thinking about trying out AI chatbots for their business, yes, don't be afraid to experiment, mm -hmm. but be thoughtful about it. Exactly. Choose the tools and the features that align with your values and your vision for your business. I like it. And remember, yes. the human touch is still important. Very important. All right. So that's it for today's deep dive on Parsimony Chat. It was fun. It was great having you here. And thank you for having me. And we'll catch you all in the next episode.